lessons from the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, the Bible says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. You know, if you follow the teaching right from when we started, I've been telling you, what the apostles gave to the believers was what? Doctrine. And I told you that a doctrine is what? A, a pattern. A pattern is a style. Now, if you look at our choir, you don't need anybody to ask you who are they. The choir uniform shows that that is their pattern. If I was thinking of them this morning, that maybe towards next year, where's the choir called? She's not all right. Okay, we begin to have different sets of choir uniform. So they continue. The apostles gave them a doctrine that they will live on. And throughout the past two months, we've been talking about several doctrines. The one we are looking at this morning, praise the Lord. Our study scripture today, and the one we are looking at is the doctrine of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. So listen, in the body of Christ, miracles in the name of Jesus is a doctrine, is a pattern. How do we get miracles in the body of Christ? We get miracles in the name of Jesus. We get miracles. Any miracle that is not done in the name of Jesus is not in, our, it's not in the pattern. It's not to the glory of God. We get miracles in the name of Jesus. So our study scripture today, Acts chapter 3, from verse 1 to verse 13, miracle is a doctrine in the body of Christ. Miracle in the name of Jesus is a doctrine in the body of Christ. Take note of that. Miracle in the name of Jesus is a doctrine in the body of Christ. Miracle in the name of Jesus is a doctrine in the body of Christ. Are we here now? The Bible says, now Peter and John, look at this, went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. Being the ninth hour, they went out in the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple. I expect every minister to concentrate now. At the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful. Now look at this, verse 3. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask arms. What was he asking for? He wasn't asking for anything. He was asking for money. Now that was his job because of his condition. He went to sit down at the temple gates believing that at least everyone coming to serve God will be compelled when they see my case. And he was asking them, Now but look at verse 4. And Peter fasting his eyes upon him with John, both of them look, said look on us look on us move on we stop at verse 13 and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them what he was expecting was not miracle what he was expecting was what material blessing financial money then peter said what you are expecting silver and gold have i none not that he was broke I don't have silver and gold that I can give to you. But such as I have. Now, which means that if you look at this, Peter had the understanding that the name of Jesus is a commodity. It's something that can solve problem. That's why, hear me, in the body of Christ, hear me, miracles can only be done in the name of Jesus. Miracles cannot be done in any other name. Don't let the devil use style to turn us to idol worshippers. Did you hear me? That we now begin to worship men rather than God. You know, I was preaching in a, in a church, uh, CC church on Friday. And I sang their song. Oh Lord, um, ba, ba, Lord. Now they joined us to sing. And we finished it. I now showed them scripture. Listen, miracles in the body of Christ can only be done in the name of Jesus. But listen, look at how Peter saw that name. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. Look at it. I have something. 
how do you say the name of Jesus? How do you carry that name? Do you know that it is your knowledge, understanding of the power in the name of Jesus that will determine what the name of Jesus will do for you? Your knowledge in the understanding of the power in that name. If the name of Jesus is not different from your name to you, nothing will happen. He said, look, at he, 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 uh, he put it on the balance. The silver and gold you want, I do not have. But look at me. He says, such that I have. Now, which means, to Peter, the name of Jesus is something. You didn't hear. Now, to Peter, the name of Jesus is something valuable that he could give. He now said, such that I have. I give, give ID in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What did he say? Rise up and walk. We are proving something. Verse 7, we'll stop at verse 13. And he took him by the, the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Verse 8. Verse 8. Received strength. And he leaping up. Stood. And walked. And entered with them. Into the temple. Walking. And leaping. And praising God. Verse 9. You know this man had still not gotten what happened to him. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. They saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gates of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Verse 11, we'll stop at 13. And as a lame man which was healed, held Peter and John. These are the men that healed he me. And people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's Greatly Wandering. Verse 12. Verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so in earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man walk? Wait. It means that miracles are not done by your own power. Miracles are not done by your own holiness. Now, you know what Peter was saying? He, this miracle was done not because we are special people. Yes, yes. I don't know whether you understand it. You know why I'm showing you this scripture? I want to nullify some things from your mindset. I don't want you to begin to think that it is only special people that can be used to do miracles. I don't want you to begin to think that it is only special people that can, that, that can enjoy miracles. Now, he now went to verse 13 where I want to stop. Where I want to stop. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, had glorified who? I didn't hear. Has glorified who? His son Jesus, whom you have delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate, which he was determined to let him go. When he was determined to let him go. Now, which means, look at this. The miracle that happened, happened so that the name of Jesus can be glorified. Hear me. Miracle is a doctrine that is in the body of Christ. Miracle is not something that died with the apostles. As the Jehovah Witness people will say. Could see miracle more. That's what they say. That's not true. I will share some testimonies with you today. Miracle is part of the New Testament church. I wrote here, the same way miracles happen in their days, miracle is also happening in our days. In whose name? In the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 confirms that. The same way miracles happen in their days is supposed to be happening now. Miracles, uh, sorry, Hebrews chapter 13. Look at verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Hebrews 13 and verse 8. Let's read together. One, two, three, and let's go. 
Jesus Christ. Who? The same yesterday. Uh -huh, and today. And what? And forever. Which means the Jesus of yesterday is the same Jesus of today. The Jesus of yesterday is the same Jesus of tomorrow. Which means what he did yesterday, he will do today and tomorrow. Stop thinking that the era of miracle is gone. You know why I said every minister concentrates? You are the one representing Jesus when it comes to the issue of calling. When people bring issues to your, before you to say, ah, sir, 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 this is what I'm going through. Stop thinking or telling them or showing attitude as if God cannot do it. Do what John and Peter did. Miracles are done in the name of Jesus. The same way I prayed for the girl in the hospital, I went to pray for the one that was going through dialysis. I said, please, can I pray for you? I asked her, have you given your life to Jesus? She said, yes, I'm born again. What church do you attend? She said, Winners Chapel. Are you a worker in the church? She said, no. But is the church aware that you are sick? She said, yes. Have they come to visit you? She said, yes. She said, they, they, they've been coming. I said, can I pray with you now? Listen, the name of Jesus is the gateway to miracles in the body of Christ. And I laid my hands upon her. And I began to pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you be healed of this. And I left. I've done my part. Hello? The era of miracles have not ended. Listen, the power of God hasn't changed. The plan of God concerning the miraculous hasn't changed. God still does and will still continue to do do miracles today now yesterday when i was preparing for this meeting i decided to browse through uh the ministry of one great man of god is of blessed memory now they call him reverend uh shambak i don't know whether you have read his book before or you have heard of his name now shambak was a great miracle worker in his days you know what stirred him up to enter into the miracle ministry Miracle is a ministry for all believers. So don't, when I say miracle ministry, don't think it's for certain set of people. It's for all believers. Because the Bible says, to them that believe in my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, they shall heal the sick. In my name, they shall speak in tongues. So if you speak in tongues, you can cast out devils. If you can speak in tongues in his name, you can heal the sick. Why? Because the healing, the miracles takes place while well, in the name of Jesus. Now, Reverend Shambach, I was listening to him yesterday of blessed memory. He said he caught that fire from one program many years ago that they call him uh, uh, A. A. Allen. If you've read God, God's Generous before, a book by Robert Leardon, Bishop Robert Leardon, you will understand who A. A. Allen is. A. A. Allen was a young evangelist. Now, whenever he's preaching, he's preaching, he'll just say, wait, the Lord is taking me into a journey now. Now, Reverend Shambach said, they were having this crusade for one, uh, is it one week? Yes, one week. This woman traveled from one state in America to that state with her son. Her son had 26 disease, diseases. Number one, he was born blind. Two, he was born deaf. He was born dumb. He could not see. He could not hear. He could not speak. He was born without a manhood. Had polio. The two hands was like this. And it was growing and going into the stomach. His lungs was not functioning well. They said in all the veins in his heart, only four was working. Crippled on both legs. And he continued to mention 26 diseases. When that boy was born, they said the doctor said the boy will not live beyond his first year birthday. But he was already four years. So the woman was telling uh, Reverend Shambach, he said, sir, I've been in this crusade 
for this crusade i've been going on for one week i've been here for five days paying hotel bills and eating the only money i have left now is 25 dollars how many dollars 25 dollars that's what i have left if god does not heal my child today i will not be able to pay hospital bill i mean uh, hotel bill for tomorrow i'll not be able to feed i don't know what to do reverend shambach said when he saw the boy he was moved he was now praying that lord please let the man of god a a allen mention our case he said but as a a allen got to the altar ah everyone want to tell you wow that's why I don't allow anything to distract you in your work with god again as a a allen was ministering he got to a point he said the spirit of god is taking me into a journey now there's a woman here you gave her to his son they told you that that boy will not last one year but that boy is now four years the boy has 26 diseases and when everybody was giving offering you dropped 20 dollars and god said to me that's the last card you have bring that boy to me now ah reverend shambach said where he was he was just claiming that god is real he was telling the people i was there i saw that miracle he said they brought the boy and the god took him and said lord jesus glorify yourself again in the life of this young man take away the disease and let your name be glorified instantly reverend shambach said he saw legs growing out of the man's the boy's body the leg grew two legs the two hands new eyes new ears new tongue and the boy stood up reverend shambach said a allen said look for shoes for him the middle the whole place scattered as the boy stood up he said all the crippled people about 24 crippled on wheelchair when they saw the boy they stood up he said about 18 uh, uh, people that were bedridden they went to bring them from hospital as they were looking at the boy's testimony everybody was screaming they stood up that the healing of that day they've never seen such before a. A. Allen was not part of the apostles in the Bible. So, tell your command so we could see your number. Oye ni oye. You know, when I had that miracle too, yesterday as I was watching, I was jumping. I was, Lord, you are real. Lord, you are real. God is real. Tell your neighbor, God is real. I didn't hear you. Now, the question I want to answer in this service: Why then is miracles cast today? why if god is real he's the god that works miracles why is miracles cast today i'll see if i can take two or three of the answers number one the faith level of those that need miracles and those that god want to use to perform miracle is not ready let me come again the faith level faith level of those that need miracles and those that God want to use to perform miracles it's not ready I remember I had one regrettable uh, uh, encounter with God I regretted it that day and what was it I was at the junction of Adeniji that should be about 15 years ago a madman was hoosing he was coming you know and everybody was running he was threatening everybody and where i sat down i had the spirit of god say to me lord son stand up and rebuke that spirit in that man the first thing that crossed my mind it was a public place ah timba rebuke at you but that uncle oh to me the lord pressed my mind oh to me me down the madman crossed one hour later they could knock him down he died on the road i was driving past i saw the man i would have saved this life if your faith level is not ready hear me sir hear me sir 
you will stop what God wants to do either in your life or through your hands. The miracle is not far from God's hands. But your connecting rod, your connection is your faith. Your, I come again, your connection is your faith. I wrote here, God cannot move in an environment of unbelief. Faith is the connection to the power of God. Faith is the connection to the power of God. Go and search everybody in the Bible that enjoyed the miracle. Beloved, I will tell you some things now that will make you afraid. They had the instructions and they obeyed. Take up your mat. Stand up and walk. Ah, the man is also saying, sir, 38 years I've been in this condition. I have never walked. Should I just stand up like that? Take the water you fetched. Go. Give it to the chairman of the occasion. Sir, we need wine, not water. Take the five loaves of bread that I've blessed into the congregation of 5,000. Sir, these people have been here for 30 days if not eating. They will step on us because the food will not be enough. Go and search scriptures. Everyone that have enjoyed the miracle has acted upon an instruction servants of God that are here hear me hear me and hear me well you will not be used to perform a miracle without an instruction it is instruction you act upon that will determine if that miracle will happen I remember one day many years ago if those that are still at church that time are still here when it happened, they will testify to it now if I say it. We were to have a vigil. Our church was at Okebola at that time. There was no light. It is not this that generator is common. Any church that had generator those days is a rich church. And I wanted to preach. My voice was down. I needed the microphone. And I came up to the, to the stage. And I took the mic. All the things they've done before I came, there was no light. And I said, Father, I need this light in this service. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let there be light. And instantly, pam, everybody screamed that night. Stop thinking that the man of God is not anointed. When he says, come and receive your miracle visa, miracle marriage, miracle babies. How many believers act upon it? Now, let's go deeper. I want to teach you something today. I ask a question here. Faith in what? Now, how did I go to this question? I, wrote, I said, faith is the connection to the power of God. And I also ask another question. Faith in what? Faith in what? Now, listen to this. Faith in the prompting that comes from the Spirit of God in you. There's what we call a prompting from the Holy Ghost. Now, it is that prompting. I will tell you how it comes. That if you act upon them, now look at Peter, Jesus our Lord was walking upon the sea and he said, who is this? He said, it's me, Jesus. So if you are the one, tell me to come. And instantly, he was scared. Some of you, you are not acting upon the steering of the Holy Spirit in you. That's why you have not enjoyed the miraculous. If I continue to tell you miracles that God has used my hands to do, you'll be shocked. It was the prompting that gave back to it. The prompting of the Spirit. Let's confirm that in scriptures. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 8 to verse 10. 
Acts chapter 14, 8 to 10. Acts 14, 8 to 10. Irusoke. Latin way, and there sat a certain man. Follow this at Lystra, impotent, that's crippled, in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, born like that, who never had walked coronary. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him he was looking at paul steadfastly and perceiving paul was perceiving that he had faith to be which means as paul was looking at him he was looking at the man that this man is ready he was ready said with a loud voice what did he say stand upright and thy faith on thy sorry on thy feet and what happened? And he limped and walked. You are trusting God for fruit of the womb. You are trusting God for marriage. You are trusting God for visa. What have you done by the prompting of your faith? A person trusting God for visa is not prompted to sacrifice his money to get passport. A person trusting God for marriage, he or she is not prompted to at least begin to say, let me begin to do shopping in awaiting of this miracle. There is a prompting that comes from the Holy Spirit. At times, that prompting may come as in form of irritation. You just get irritated with your condition. I've seen cases like that before. You get irritated with your condition. You stand up and say, come on, this nonsense must stop. I command in the name of Jesus. Now let me tell you two stories. Two stories before I move on. We were struggling. And any time we needed food in our house, I would go to our family, to my mom's house, to ask for food. But this particular day, I got there for food. And she too, I didn't know what happened that was on ground. She was angry. And she said what some people told her. And she now told me that, Pastor, stop all this. Instantly, the cup that I was using to measure rice fell from my hand. I dropped it. I was scared that this thing must stop. I stood up to go. She said, have you taken the food? I said, no. Take it. I said, no, I don't need it. I'm okay. I was only joking. And do you know that as I left, I trekked from her house to my house and I was praying, Yakadaba, you spirit, you devil of scarcity. You devil of scarcity. I rebuke you. Divine idea begin to attend. You know, I started praying some powerful prayers. It, can I tell you the truth? That was the last time I went there for food. Say prompting of the Holy Spirit. Another question. How does this prompting come? I'm teaching you something. How does this prompting come? Look at the testimony of uh, 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 those two women who had seven years delay. I pray for them specially. But this particular day, one of them met me. I sat down. I asked, why are you still barren? Papa I was touched that day. And I spoke. The other one too came. The same year, God ended seven years of delay. This picture is too small. Zoom out now. So how does this prompt thing comes? Number one, take note. It could come while you pay attention to God's word. You 
You know why I use the word attention to God's word? Either when you are reading it or listening to it. Our cameramen are not concentrating at all. Either when you are listening or reading. Bishop Oedeko shared a testimony. He was, he was studying the word of God one morning. He was studying the word of God one morning. He said as he was studying the word, he was studying the word. He caught one light. Not knowing that some people were waiting for him outside. And he said, ah, there's nothing God cannot do. That was the passage he was studying. He came out, he said, some people said, this girl just died this morning. Die? Somebody who just caught a light. Give me the girl. Give me the girl. In the name of you. Come back to her. And the girl instantly sneezed. That's why anytime you are before the word of God, give 100% attention. How did I catch the possibility power? I was studying John chapter 11. That was how me I caught the power of possibility. That day I was studying John chapter 11. I was in my office over there. I'm talking about many years ago. I was studying John 11. I was studying it. I studied it until the point that I saw where Jesus our Lord came to, to the tomb and said, Father, I thank you for you all, you know, for you. I know you hear me even before I pray. But, but I say this because of those that are watching me, listening to me right now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, it is in the name of Jesus. He now said, Lazarus. And the pastor, he who was dead, came forth. I stood up in my office. Kaya gada. You know, and I started screaming. It is possible. It is possible. It is. I was just shouting, it is possible. It is possible. That's why whenever they bring a case before me since that time, I start by saying, it is possible in Jesus' name. So that's staring up. If you don't have that staring up, let's find out. Do you pay attention when the word is being shared? Do you give ultimate attention when you are studying the Bible? That's why I always tell people when the word of God is on, don't be, with, don't be playing with your phone. When the word of God is on, don't sit down with a friend that will distract you. When the word of God is on, don't allow the devil of sleep to come. You didn't feel slippery when you were seated listening to announcements why is it when the word is com coming why the word of god does not want the devil does not want you to catch that staring okay no 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 i've seen something i've seen something oh no i've seen something i've seen something one of her daughters many years ago was telling me she was reading one of god's servants book and she just screamed i will not be married she came to me and said papa i saw something I saw something. Listen, until you see, at times you may not experience. At times you may not enter. A wise man said, you are not permitted to enter the level you have not seen. I caught it. I caught it. That's why anytime preaching is on, you will see me. Even my wife cannot distract me. Say here. How do you catch the staring? Number two, it can come as you listen to the miracle testimonies of other children of God. Don't doubt again. Sir, you know, during our prayer and fasting, was it not last year or two years ago? We a man of God came and was telling us his testimony. I sat here. He was telling us that somebody gave him a gift of one million naira. I don't know whether you remember. It was Pastor Peter. That as he was coming, as he saw the alert, he just branched. He first went to eat. That day I sat here. I said, Lord, I have never received a gift from a single person of one million naira before. Now, if people see all the exploits we have done in ministry, they will say, ah, people are giving Pastor Prince huge money. We have been operating on divine wisdom, using the little, little, little coming, you know, to build things. So I prayed that day, I connect for this testimony. I connect. My own came. 
January this year. One of our sons just called. I know, sir. I want to sow a seed. I want to sow a seed. I need an account number. I said, I'll send you the church account number. He said, no, sir, I'm not giving to the church. Ah, sir, I want to give to you, sir. I said, what is it for? He said, sir, I forgot to lift me up. I didn't know. The... I said, okay. If that is the case, you have my GT account number now? He said, yes. Because he has my GT, he has my starting account. I just had to. I thought it was a joke. I look at it. One million from one single source. I came to the altar. Check it again. So I will not be. You know, there are some there are some things that will happen to you. You'll be counting the zeros. That this zero is. Are you sure it's complete? I counted it. Counted it. I decided to transfer something out of it to be sure of the zeros. When I was sure, I called him. I said, no, brother. Where did you get one million? Because I know, know what you earn. He said, sir, my savings. I was praying. God said I should give you. I said, what do you want? If you... Listen, any testimony you despise will be far. When people share their testimony, don't despise them. Catch a stirring of the spirit from their own testimony. Look at the case of A.L. and I shared with you. As that boy stood up, others started catching fire. Somebody sharing testimony of a, a, a God has just blessed me with a set of twin. What should you be doing? Father, you did it. I believe you can do my own. I believe. I receive it. Don't envy the, the testifier. Don't fight the testifier. Don't hate the testifier. I wrote here, others people's testimony can steer you to do what you have not done before. Number three, where will can the steering come? Where does the steering? How does the Holy Spirit bring the steering? Number three, it can also come in an atmosphere of worship and prayer. This one too have happened to me before. That day, Dickness Kemi was the one leading praise worship. She was now saying, We should sing. You know, I think she first started with a, uh, when the spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, I will dance as a V. Now, let's begin to dance. The spirit of God is here. The spirit of God is upon us. That time our chairs were here. I was battling with serious stomach ulcer. Oh, serious gone. Then she now screamed, let's shout. I feel like jumping. I've, I, as I jumped, it's like I had in my stomach. That was the last time I heard of that ulcer pain. Utilin seven years old, Utilin eight years. In an atmosphere of prayer, at times the prayer will be so hot like this listen the prayer the prayer is like we are in the deep waters of prayer the thing is going the thing is going that that and there's a prompting it has happened to me too several times now begin to declare i cross from this realm in the, you know i begin to declare and i begin to see manifestation take advantage of this i wrote here beloved Okay, before we, before we get it. So in the atmosphere of worship and prayer, when you begin to swim in the deep waters of worship, that's what we call deep waters of worship. See, worship, even you yourself will know that the person singing is not the one singing again. We've had that experience several times in our church here. That even you yourself will know that ah, this, this thing has changed. God is in our mixed. 
Now, when you notice such times and there is this staring, you begin to say, Lord Jesus, I give you my delay. I give you my delay. I give you my joblessness. I give unto you my sickness. I take healing from your throne. I take this new job. I take, you know, I. But most children of God doesn't know how to communicate. During worship, some people become observers. Everybody is connecting. They are observing. That's why you now see that there are no proofs. There are no miracles. The atmosphere of prayer. I always get a lot in the atmosphere of prayer. The car that I drive now, I got it in the atmosphere of prayer. I was praying, trusting God, trusting God, Lord, take me away from so so and so, bring me into so so and so lane. Let's summarize it. Beloved, faith is required in order to flow in the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Without faith, you will not want to flow because of the prompting of the Holy Spirit at times looks very stupid. Shall I come again? Hmm. Beloved, faith is required in order to flow in the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Without faith, you will not want to flow because the prompting of the Holy Spirit at times looks stupid. Look at that day we were worshipping God when our church was at Adeniji and I came up with a prophecy that God is saying, Good Friday is coming. Everybody, when you get home on Good Friday, get a cup of water put it in front of you and say Lord I declare this water becomes the blood of Jesus as I take it Lord this is the anniversary of the death of Jesus and resurrection let so so and so live my life it was one of us engineer Disu it's now, it's now a deacon in uh, an elder in, uh, in uh, Winners Chapel Abel Kuta you know Shagam he took the cup got home, put water as I told them 6 p.m. on Friday now say Lord this becomes the blood of Jesus because Jesus on this particular day died and if it's in the natural every company will do anniversary bonanza during the anniversary now that we are marking the anniversary of Jesus' resurrection and death death and resurrection let there be anniversary of healing he drank there was a boy that in their house Femi, that the doctors told he was having serious pain. They rushed him to the hospital. They checked him. It was high near. They now booked him for operation. He gave the boy water. As the boy finished drinking the water, he started pressing. Because pain more. They went back to the hospital. Doctor checked. High near. Gone. Just like that, gone. That boy has not been operated till today. That testimony is over 10 years. Say prompting of the spirit. I was summarized with this testimony. Last one. It was yesterday morning. I just received a call from uh, uh, Sister Oni, our evangelist. Hello, Daddy. Where are you? I said, I'm at, in, at, at home. My roommate is sick. I said, take her to the hospital. He said, no, daddy, listen to me. She has ear pain, serious ear pain. She's crying. Her head is aching out with the ears. She has gone to the, to the hospital several times. They've given her a lot of treatment. They said there's nothing they can do about it anymore. I said, let her call her parents. Now. He said, daddy, wait. I said, she has called her parents. 
Uh -huh. He said, the, the parents said she should come home. But she has an exam on Monday. And I told her that my daddy is a pastor. My daddy will pray for her. I said, okay. Is she there with you? I said, yes. Give her the phone. Young lady, what happened? He said, sir. He started on Friday. I wanted to go to the library to read for my exams. As I stepped into the library, I just heard a strange sound on my head. It was so serious and it was flowing to the direction of my ears. I could no longer go. I had to turn back. She said, I said, I'm going to go. I could no longer go. So I went back to the room. She has been crying ever since. She has been crying, sir. It's paining me, sir. It's aching me, sir. Do you believe in the power of God in prayers? She said, yes, I believe. So I prayed with her. My wife was saying amen. And the latter was listening. It was an that now called her in the night. We, that's your friend. He said, God has healed her. The pain has stopped. The prompting of the spirit. Without faith, you can never enjoy the miraculous. And don't forget, miracles are done in whose name? I didn't hear you now. Peter has shown us that you don't need special holiness for it. You don't need special power for it. You just need to believe in his name. So, I want you to believe now. Children of God, the era of miracle is not gone. The era of miracle is on. Let's begin to thank God for this morning again. Yes, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe. I believe. Miracles. I believe. Miracles. Miracles in Jesus' name. I believe in miracles. I believe. Begin to connect. I connect for miracles. Mention the miracle you desire. Begin to mention the miracle you desire. We have one minute and we close the service. Miracles. Miracles that Jesus did. I believe in miracles. I believe. Miracles, miracles in Jesus' name. I believe in miracles. I believe. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for what you've done again today. We thank you for the power of your word. That has gone forth well thank you oh god that the unction for miracle is released that both me everyone listening watching online in the service today shall enjoy the miraculous in the name of jesus we declare this week a blessed one for us we declare the lines fall unto us in pleasant places as we move to the next service lord have your way glorify yourself Thank you for it is done. In Jesus' name we have prayed.